Okay, so today I'm going to name as many incidents as I can to show you that having police in schools is heinous. Keep in mind that these are, these are school resource officers assaulting black and brown youth. And um, these are only a fraction of incidents that have occurred between 2010 and 2018. Police shocked two 12-year-old boys with stun, stun gun. Minor assault resulted in resource officer murdering 14-year-old Latinx boy. 20-year-old black man murdered outside a school dance because he was having car trouble. 15-year-old boy killed by officers, one wearing plain street clothing. 17-year-old student placed in medically induced coma after police failed to call paramedics, instead handcuffing him, handcuffing the unconscious student. Police officer was caught on camera praying before punching student. Police beat 17-year-old queer girl and knocked her brother's teeth out for trying to defend her. 15-year-old student left with two bone fractures after student officer beats him. Student was struck with metal nightstick by school officer when student asked for his phone to be returned. 10th grade girl was assaulted by three resource officers in school to, get, in school to give up her cell phone. She was suspended and fined. Student was suspended after being assaulted by resource officer resulting in broken jaw. Officer assaulted multiple students resulting in many hospital <laughs> visits. 13-year-old girl was put into chokehold by school resource officer until he couldn't, he could barely breathe and had blurry vision. Student was assaulted, put into chokehold many times and body slammed on camera by resource officer in school. 13-year-old girl was beaten by a resource officer in front of his, in front of his mother in school office. 11-year-old, 11 11-year-old 11 student's wrist was broken by resource officer violently handcuffing him. His parents were not notified that he had been handcuffed. 14-year-old girl was choked and slammed to the ground by multiple school officers. 14-year-old boy was slammed to the ground while his brother was being handcuffed. 14-year-old black girl was attacked and another black girl was arrested for taping and attempting to de-escalate the situation. I hope that by now you're sick to your stomach because there's a lot more. 16-year-old boy was struck in the head twice for drinking water in the hallway without a pa hall pass. Student standing near a school fight was assaulted. Student was assaulted by a resource officer while another watched, resulting in injuries to his face and ribs. 15-year-old girl was body slammed and dragged out of camera view by officer, then forced to move schools. Officer used excessive force to, on 16-year-old student, leaving him bloodied and unconscious. 14-year-old student verbally assaulted before being physically assaulted, resulting in two broken teeth, various bruises, and lacerations to his face and neck. With all these incidents, no change has been made to protect black and brown bodies. You can protect these youth by listening to our demands. Remove cops from schools, invest resources in education that promotes leadership, wellness, learning, and creativity for youth of color. Build transformative justice instead please, of punishing. Please finish up. Give youth and families decision-making power. I can't see the time because he is in the way. Thank you.